Hello there everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mr. Mike Sharman. I hope you're all well. You're here for the daily quiz. Take your pick. Episode number 18 today. All, all 17 episodes so far are on the channel. So if you've missed one, you want to go back or pretend you haven't played it. If you're challenging someone and try it again so you get to score, um, you, can, uh, you can do so. Whilst you're there, give us a like, share, comment to either say hello um, let us know how you're doing with your scores. Quite a few of you doing that as well. That's brilliant. Subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on whilst you're there as well. The way the quiz works is simple. Each and every day, 10 new general knowledge questions, each followed by four possible answers, A, B, C or D. One of them is right. The other three are wrong. Please give me the correct answer or the letter that corresponds with that answer, which will be either A, B, C or D. If you don't know, have a guess. It's a one in four chance. You lose nothing if it's uh, wrong. It's a point if it's right. Prize wise, it's the knowledge that you've done very well in today's quiz. I can offer nothing else, nothing else prize wise, however, but it is great to see in the comments how you are doing each and every day in the daily quiz. You might be challenging uh, a wife, a husband, a girlfriend, family member, work colleague. Um, spread the word. It's all so, are we ready? Pens and paper ready? Knowledge ready? Well, good luck, guesses ready. Your answers come at the end. Here we go. Uh, the Daily Quiz, take your pick, episode 18. Question number one today. What was sold in litres for the first time in Britain in 1981? What was sold in litres for the first time in Britain in 1981? Was it A, milk, B, petrol, C, water, or D, wine? What was sold in litres for the first time in Britain in 1981? A, milk, B, petrol, C, water, or D, wine? A, B, C, D on all of these. Milk, petrol, water, wine, A, B, C, D there in number one. Question number two is in the television cartoon, The Wacky Races, what was the name of Dick Dastardly's dog? In the TV cartoon, The Wacky Races, what was the name of Dick Dastardly's dog? Question two, was it A, Argus, B, Huxley, C, Muttley, or D, Spit? In the TV cartoon, The Wacky Races, what was the name of Dick Dastardly's dog? A, Argus. B. Huxley, C. Muttley, or D. Spit? What do we reckon there? The Wacky Races. Remember that one? Um, we get a, a veritable mix, as our regular quizzes and quizettes will know uh, in the quiz each day. Um, a bizarre mix of subjects, something for everyone. Um, and the odd gem you might just remember, hopefully, in there. Uh, question number three. Number three. Which of the following could also accurately be called majuscule. M-A-J-U-S-C-U-L-E. Which of the following could ac also accurately be called majuscule? M-A-J-U-S-C-U-L-E, majuscule. Is it A, capital letter? B, a judge's seat? C, a royal infant? Or D, a vertical ladder. Which of the following could also accurately be called majuscule? A, capital letter. B, judgy seat. C, royal infant. Or D, vertical ladder. That's question number three today. Majuscule in number three. And sticking with the meaning of words, really, for your next one as well. Um, next two, actually, as it happens. But uh, first of them, question number four. Which Latin word means cloud or rainstorm? Which Latin word means cloud or rainstorm? Is it A, cumulus? B, nimbus? C, stratus? Or D, wetus? One of them's right. Which Latin word means cloud 
or rainstorm? A. Cumulus. B. Nimbus. C. Stratus. Or D. Wetus. It's question four. Nearly halfway through. We will be after this one. Question number five. A word one again. Uh, number five. This time, which animal's name in Spanish means little armoured one? Which animal's name in Spanish means little armoured one? Question five. Is it A. Armadillo? B. Crab? C. Hedgehog? Or D. Tortoise? Which animal's name in Spanish means little armoured one? A. Armadillo? B. Crab? C. Hedgehog? Or D. Tortoise? That's question five. What do we reckon on that? Little armoured one. Question five. Question six is next into the second half today. Uh, number six. The playing card, the nine of diamonds, is known as the curse of where? The playing card, the nine of diamonds, is known as the curse of where? Is it A, England? B, Ireland? C, Scotland? Or D, Wales? The playing card, the nine of diamonds, is known as the curse of where? A, England. B, Ireland. C, Scotland. Or D, Wales. That's number six. How are we doing so far? Not too bad, hopefully. <laughs> Question number seven. Question number seven. Nicholas Breakspear. Nicholas Breakspear was the first British what? Nicholas Breakspear was the first British what? Your options here. A. Brewer. B. Poet Laureate. C. Pope. Or D. Prime Minister. Nicholas Breakspear was the first British what? A. Brewer. B. Poet Laureate. C. Pope. Or D. Prime Minister. That's question seven. Three questions left today. The first of those three is this one. Question number eight. Which acid has the chemical formula H2SO4? Which acid has the chemical formula H2SO4? Is it A, acetic? B, hydrochloric? C, nitric? Or D, sulfuric? Question eight. Which acid has the chemical formula H2SO4? A. Acetic. B. Hydrochloric. C. Nitric. Or D. Sulfuric. That's number eight. Question number eight, that one. Question number nine is next. Question nine. With which item do you most associate Billingsgate Market in London? With which item do you most associate Billingsgate Market in London? Is it A, fish, B, flowers, C, fruit, or D, wine? With which item do you most associate Billingsgate Market in London? A, fish, B, flowers, C, fruit, or D, wine? Which leaves us with one final question. Uh, today and it's this one question 10 what can a bird do once it has fledged f-l-e-d-g-e-d -E -E what can a bird do once it has fledged is it a eat b fly c sing or d take out a loan what can a bird do once it has fledged a eat B, fly, C, sing, or D, take out a loan. Whilst you're thinking on those, you might want to just press the pause button so you can have a look through your answers, have a think about them, have an argument with whoever you're playing along with. Because when you take me off pause in just a moment, I'm about to give you all of the answers. Which are coming now, your answers to the daily quiz. Take your pick. Episode 18, question number one. First being sold in litres for the first time in Britain in 1981 was B, petrol. In the TV cartoon, The Wacky Races, Dick Dastardly's dog was called 
Muttley, that's option C. C Muttley, number two. Number three, majuscule is A. It's a capital letter. Number four, the Latin word that means cloud or rainstorm is B, nimbus. The animal's name in Spanish, question five, that means little armoured one is A, armadillo. The playing card, the nine of diamonds in question six is known as the curse of C, Scotland. Nicholas Breakspear in seven was the first British C, ope. The acid that has the chemical formula H2SO4 in question eight is D, sulfuric acid. The item with which you'd most associate Billingsgate Market was question nine. The answer is A, fish. And what can a bird do once it is fledged in number 10? It's B, fly. So a few of you like to do the letters top to bottom. So to check through your letters today, it's B, C, A, B, A, C, C, D, A, B. There are your 10 questions and answers for today. I hope you've enjoyed the quiz. How did you do? I can't hear you. I, 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 I can't. Um, but I can read your comments if you let me know here on the YouTube channel uh, or indeed on any of the uh, other forums by which I uh, post the video out there on social media. Uh, please give us a like, share, retweet if you're using uh, Twitter, anything like that. Subscribe, turn the notifications on and the daily quiz will come directly to you. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your day, enjoy it, stay safe, and I do hope you can join me again tomorrow for another episode of The Daily Quiz. See you then.